Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Martin Cross Nation and for today's video, we got a very important video for today. This literally just came out in the JP version of the game. It was a new update for the main portion of the game. It has now been updated to the version 3.1 version of the game, which I'm assuming will be coming to global fairly shortly as well. But I wanted to quickly go over everything that's new coming out in the update, uh, especially some of these ones, because th there are some things about this new update that are just, well, one, asked for for such a while now, <laughs> for the past few months, and two, uh, will heavily, change uh the meta and how a bunch of setups are at the current moment so without further ado let's jump right into the update so first of all this is the current update right now it's translated with google translate luckily it's nothing too extravagant that i can't discern from myself okay uh like i don't need to go to like cage inside or anything to like go figure out what the heck this is talking about so first of all uh they announced right here that it's updating to version 3.1 which is okay they also say right here that in the main update content right there uh they also stay right here and the the translation in, is a little butchered but essentially what they're trying to say right here is that they are going to be starting to release the product codes for the the starlight keyblade that's going to be available within kingdom hearts 3 if you've if you've completed all of the mini games so if you haven't already complete your mini games i'm assuming that but as long as you've completed the mini games before kingdom hearts 3 you will be able to get your product code so so even if you haven't completed your product codes yet i'm assuming you'll still be able to get them within the next month or two as well now the next thing that they mentioned and this is by far probably going to be one of the most important parts of this update uh, which is going to heavily influence the meta on top of uh, like the setups and stuff like that because it's going to the setups nowadays are going to go back a little bit to what they were old school but this right here the cap the buff and debuff cap has been increased from 7 to 15. So instead of having a plus seven cap for buffs and debuffs, so the max buffs or debuffs you could have is seven, excluding the pet skill, which can give you a plus one PSM buff as well, just excluding that, the cap is now at 15 instead. And this is gonna be absolutely huge because as we're all aware, there are a bunch of metals in the meta right now uh, that have the upright mechanic, which overwrite anything, all of the buffs and debuffs that it applies to. And as of right now, those are the best metals to use just because they, for the most part, most of the overwrite metals just completely max out all of the buffs and debuffs that you're gonna be using for now. However, with this new cap increase, that also means that those same overwrite metals are no longer going to be able to get you to the full maximum amount of buffs because they will only limit you at seven. So you're gonna need other metals such as going back old school, such as the original Kyrie EX Plus to go past the seven limit that we used to have uh, from because of overwrite and to actually achieve the 15 buff and debuff cap. Pretty much as of right now, I'm gonna start re-updating all of my meta setups on my website as well uh, to get ready for the 15 uh, cap increase so that way you guys can get an idea as to what are currently the best setups for each of the keyblades and such uh, and it will also kind of help set the precedent for uh, what the type of setups are going to be starting to look like from now on so keep an eye on that if you happen to follow me on twitter or discord i will be releasing uh the new setups and such the new meta setups in fairly shortly uh, but as of right now, just keep an eye on that. I might make a video discussing what the new setups are gonna be looking like and such. I'm not too sure yet, we'll see, but it is a possibility. Now, the next thing that they're gonna be updating as well is that they finally <laughs> are gonna be adding the option to automatically set um, your sub slots. So no longer do you actually have to like go one by one manually by hand setting up your sub slots for your sub slots on your keyboard, okay? And at the same time, they are also adding the ability, and this is something I've been really wanting as well, to actually remove a specific metal from all of your sub slots as well. So in case any of you happen to come across this, which I'm sure quite a lot, a lot of you have, you might have come across the scenarios where because of a lot of the banners right now come with a lot of skills, chances are you might want to uh, cannibalize those specific metals into other metals so that way you can transfer the skill onto a better metal. Uh, but the problem is if you have that metal on subslots across multiple keyblades, it's going to be a real hassle to 
take them off every single individual keyblade, especially since there's 120 sub slots across um, every single keyblade each. Okay, so honestly, I probably like this feature more than the actual automatically set the sub slots feature because that's honestly that's not too hard to like do real quick. Removing a metal it takes way more time than it does adding metals, in my opinion. But regardless, I appreciate the fact that we finally have both features now. And just to kind of go along with that, they also added a function where now they finally have like an open all button for like avatar boards and such, or like just boards in general. If you have all of the coins necessary to unlock all of the nodes within a board, you can just press the button and it'll unlock everything for you. This isn't really something that's necessary, but it, I know it has been something that I've been seeing various people now and then uh, requesting uh, for within the game. Now the next thing they mentioned that they up are going to update are the, it says random faction, but I'm assuming this is the optimized function um, within the game, which is pretty good. Uh, whether or not the improved version is going to be good enough or not, we'll, we'll see, because as of right now, for anybody who knows how to actually make setups, the optimized function is complete trash. It does not actually make a good setups at all whatsoever for you guys. All it does is really just slap what it considers your best metals onto slots that match its attribute and it calls it a day. It doesn't actually make good setups for you, which is kind of part of the problem. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe this can actually improve that and make actually decent setups from now on uh within the game when you use it but as of right now that remains to be seen other than that though the last thing that they mentioned that they're going to change is the uh application icon as far as i'm aware i believe that the icon has already been changed for the jp version of the game i haven't seen it yet but that's what i've heard but either way we'll end up seeing it for global as well if that ends up being the case but other than that that's it for today guys let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below i know for a fact that this especially that whole cap increase because that's been something we've been looking forward to that i've been calling basically ever since Kyrie ex plus first came out i've been calling for months that the cap increase was going to happen sooner or later so it's been something that i've been waiting for to happen and it finally happened let me know what your thoughts are about it in the comment section down below remember i will be releasing the new meta setups and such fairly soon so keep an eye on that but other than that if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button it's the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from kingdom Hearts and cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace